In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take any image or photograph and make this using an AI called Stable Diffusion. If you're watching this video and you want to make a moving image off of somebody that you took a photograph of, make sure to watch this other video that's going to pop up around here first because it's going to teach you the easiest way to make a model off of someone. If you don't do this and you're trying to go through this process, it won't keep the same person. So if you want to keep the same person in the photo, then you're going to want to make sure that you use a specific model built off of that person. So go watch that video first and then come back and watch this one afterwards. To try and serve everyone best, I'm going to run this process through Sable Diffusion on the Google Collab Doc, as well as using the automatic 1111 interface, which is what I personally prefer. So I'm going to do the Google Collab Doc first. Here we go. All right. So first you're going to want to get your image. Now this is the image that I have and all I'm going to do is cool. I got it. That's great. Now we need to describe it to AI if we want to make this work. So if you don't know how, or if you're not savvy enough to figure it out, which is totally fine. I'm still not great at it is you're just going to go to a website called clip interrogator and you can find this through any kind of your favorite search engine and it's on hugging face. And all you're going to do is drag and drop your image here. And once you're done that, you're going to click submit and AI is going to do its best to guess how to prompt your image. I ran this already and this was the prompt that I got. Now, while this isn't at all, really at all what I used, that's okay. Cause it gives me a base that I can adjust later. So I'm going to keep this open and then, and I will leave a link to clip interrogator in the description as well as this stable diffusion to forum version 0.7. So I, this will probably look very intimidating. Don't worry. I'm going to walk you through how to use this for this tutorial. So first we want to click play to get the NVIDIA GPU going. This is a GPU that we rent from Google for the time being awesome. And then we're going to go ahead and click setup. And this shouldn't take super long either. Last time I ran this, it was about 15 seconds. So that's not too bad. And for this notebook, you want to do each cell at a time to make sure you have it set up how you want it to. So while that's getting set up, it's almost done. We're going to go to Imgur and you're going to want to make a new post. If you don't have an account, you should make one. And we're going to take our photo and we're going to go ahead and drag and drop it into here. So I'm going to call this alley test two because I can't. And you just always want to name it and then go ahead and right click and copy image link. We're going to need that in a little bit. Still setting up. That's okay. Let's scroll down a bit and we're going to find the init image. And it might look different depending on where you are or which notebook that you're using. But we have init settings here and we want to make sure that we put this in here. So I have that link and normally this is at yours will probably look like that. So what we're going to do is we want to use that image as our reference for when we start. And you just want to make sure we click on use in it and then make this 0.9. If the strength is at zero, the AI will have a lot of control. If the strength is at one, it will have nothing. So 0.9 just gives it a little bit to change the image just a little bit every frame. So I'm going to scroll back up. And it looks like the environment was set up. It took 46 seconds, much longer than the last time I ran this. Now what you're going to do is we want to use a custom model. So you might start yours and it might look like it has like protogen lined up here. We don't want that. We want to make this custom and then this probably doesn't have anything in it. So I'm going to click path setup. And it's going to ask to connect to my Google drive. That's exactly what I want. And I'm going to click on the email I'm using and allow. And it's going to take a little bit to get set up and get access. Let's check to see if we have access right now. Oh, it looks like I ran into an issue. Keyword custom. That's okay. If that comes up, that's totally fine because we need to get our model. So I'm going to go to drive my drive and I up and I already have my model here. You're going to want to upload your model ahead of time. I just did it on the main drive for this video. You can see that mine is located right here. I just dragged and dropped it inside. 
And you might see some other things like it says AI, Stable Diffusion. When you get this started up, those folders will automatically get created, so don't worry. So I'm gonna right click this, copy path, and custom checkpoint path. That's great. We have it set to custom and go ahead and click play. And now it's going to load our model and that will take some time. We are gonna come back to this. So I'm going to try to explain how this works. So animation is what we're playing with and we wanna set our max frames. So on the video that was at this, that you saw earlier, I only had it at 120 and then I just reversed it later to make it a uh, loop is what I wanted. So I'll just keep it at 120 for now. You're going to want to turn zoom off. These are the default settings. Zoom out one will not make it zoom. And then the translation, we don't want it to move at all. Translation would move you like this uh, back and forth and translation Z would zoom in a little bit. We don't want that either. But we do want our animation mode set to 2D. So we have that set. Looks like we're still loading on model and that is totally fine. The rest of this you don't really need to worry about because we're not messing with that in this video. Video input, nothing, nothing. All right. Now down here, remember that we asked AI to describe our image for us. This is where that comes in handy. So I'm going to go ahead and control C. I'm going to go back and we want to make sure we do this in animation prompts. So I'm going to take out what's in these quotes here and paste my prompt in. Now the rest of these I don't want, okay? All these numbers really mean is that at frame zero, we're gonna start with this. Then if we get to frame 20, I don't want a beautiful banana. That's not what I'm looking for because we're doing 120 frames. So you're gonna wanna get rid of this. The most important thing to remember, if you want to do multiple prompts, then you have to put a comma at the end of every one. So you can see a comma is there and just make sure that it's in quotes. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Make sure you keep your curly braces. And it's, she's not, I wouldn't consider that a beautiful princess or anything like that. But we are going to do a portrait of Ali, the Piper person. And this is the trigger word that I used for this. And we're going to do wearing a hat, character portraits. And the rest of these I think will look good. Yep, all of that I think is fine. I don't need this comma here, not that it matters. So that prompt is now good to go. Let's check to see how our model is. Out of the Piper, CKPT is lined up. So we have this set now. We're going to go ahead and click play. Got the green check mark there. We're going to go ahead and click the green check mark on our prompt. And load settings. I don't think there's anything. Ah, yes. We don't want this to be 512 by 512. We are going to want it to be a little bigger. So 7. 68 is what we're going to use for this height because it's taller than it is wide and our seat here is going to be random so if you find a style that you end up liking and you want to come back and try it again this is where you're going to find a seed number on the generations that you did and this is where you'd put that in there negative one just means random the sampler we're going to use is euler ancestral there's lots of different options it's up to you on what you want to use. I like Euler Ancestral Bell a lot. A lot. The steps is basically how long the AI is going to take on each frame that we're going to do. So we have 120 frames. That means it's going to do 50 steps for each frame. How long that is, I don't know. But the lower the steps, the less time it will take to make the image good. I will never generally go above 50 and I never generally go below 20. But we'll keep it at 50 for now. Your scale, I generally keep it seven. The scale, basically, the higher it is, the more it's going to rely on your prompt, but the more contrast you will get. And the less, vice versa, but seven is a good middle ground. Everything else in here should be fine. The batch name is just what the folder is going to be, so we'll just call it Alley Test for now. We have our init settings already. And everything else you don't need to worry about. So we're going to go ahead and click play here. And it's going to load these settings up. We just have to wait for that to get done. Bond is already going. So this is a newer notebook. And so it's already started to make frames here. 
So we're on rendering animation frame two of 20. And I already kind of don't like how this is looking, right? So this is not the animation that I love, so I'm gonna stop it, but you can kind of see it's getting what we want. Hi, this is Editor Us. I forgot to include where to find your images when you're done generating them. So when we chose the batch name, I used Alley Testing Mine. That is the folder that was gonna be created. And when you run this Google Collab doc, it's gonna make new folders. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your drive. You're gonna click on AI, then Stable Diffusion, 2023-02, Alley Test. And this is where your images are going to live. Now we're gonna move on to the Automatic 111 interface. All right, so we have the Automatic 1111 interface booted up. And if you have this and you don't have the Deforma option, make sure to go to Extensions, go to Available, and then load from this URL. And it should show up here. A to Z will help you find it easier. As you can see, I already have it installed. And we're going to go over there. Before we get started at all, make sure that you have your model loaded in here. I actually have the wrong, the wrong one loaded. So I make sure I load the right one there. And so I know that I have my model and I know that it's going to be a specific size. So I'm going to make it to 768 by 512. One, because most things were trained off of 512 images, but because my, my image is also taller than it is square or rather wide. So we want to make sure we adjust that there. And I'm going to put on restore faces because that will help with this. Seed, we can keep the same. That's not going to be an issue. I'm going to scroll down again. And we have our steps. It's set basically at 21. We can start at 21. That's fine. I will never go above 50 and never below 20. And then we can set our batch name to Alley Test here. And this is where basically when we run this animation where all the images will be stored. Next up, we have our keyframes, and we have animation mode of 2D. We'll keep it at 120, that's fine. And I'm going to change these default settings that we don't need. Zoom, we're just setting it to one. Translation Z, we're gonna make zero. For 2D and 3D settings in 3D, so pretty much everything is gonna be zero. And that's what we're gonna have, that's it. So we don't want the image to move at all, so don't worry about the rest of these settings. There's a bunch of other things, but I do not believe you need to worry about them. Next up, we have our prompts. So before we kind of get into this section, if you don't already have, we have Fedora Arena, we have Clip Interrogator. And Clip Interrogator is basically gonna help you guess what the image is or what it is that you're gonna wanna make. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my image now that I have to find it again, which is totally fine. Should only take me a moment. Ah, uh, yes, there he is. So I'm gonna throw that in there and then we're gonna click submit. And AI is going to guess what it thinks its best approximation of what this image is. I'm gonna go over to Clip Interrogator because I already ran this once and this is what I guessed it was. It's pretty good. But we're gonna make some adjustments. So I'm gonna go back into here and so we have our animation prompts. Now with our animation prompts, we have zero and that's going to be the frame that it's going to start on. So I'm going to get rid of this big prompt here. I'm going to put in the new one that we have. Now, I don't want this prompt to change at all. I don't want it to become a beautiful banana later. So I'm going to get rid of these extra frames so we know that at zero, it will always be this. And make sure to remove this comma, otherwise the computer is going to get confused. So... I'm not going to do a close-up of a woman because I know who this is. Instead, I'm going to do a... We'll just do a portrait of Ali, the Piper person. And that, because that is my trigger word for this model. I'm going to get rid of character portrait because I don't need it. I don't know who this Hans McCart is, but we'll leave it for now. Other than that, I think it will be good. We'll just do a up portrait there. And we will go with that. We're not going to, we have negative prompts here. Let's just see what we get without any. And then the last thing we need to do is we have our init. So we have to know that the computer has to know what, what is my base? What am I starting with? So first we're going to go to Imgur. 
I want to make a new post. And you can really use any thing you want. I'm choosing Imker because it's easy for me. We're going to drag and drop your image over and then give it a name. And then you don't even need to post it to anything. Just go ahead then to right click, copy image of link. We're going to go back to Stable Diffusion and go ahead and control V or paste your link into here. And then we want to use in it, we want to set our strength to 0.9. If you have your strength at zero, then it's the AI isn't going to look at the image at all and do anything. And if it's going to be a one, it will change it all. So we only want it to change a little bit. So we're putting it to 0.9. After you've done that, I do not believe there's anything else that you need to do and we should be good to go. So we are going to go ahead and give this a Bring in generate and hopefully if we did everything right it's going to start generating images now where these are located is you find where you have stable diffusion installed so for me out on my d drive in dream booth 2 then i'm going to go to outputs image to images and i called it alley test i believe so that's where we're going to go outputs and i don't believe it's going this fast but hopefully it will be throwing it in here yeah we looks like we have 40 minutes to go so it's going to take some time here we go and so this is our first image and that's going to slowly make some more images over time this is where i generally will look to find them to see how it's doing so if we click through yeah that's looking pretty good the restore faces feature is very helpful and if you like, I can't go any further than four, even though it's been making them. So you have to close it every time. Let me get the mouse out of the way there. But there you go. The image is changing and making it how we want it. And then we'll just wait for it to get done. And that's all you have to do to make an animation image like this in Stable Diffusion Automatic 111. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more AI videos because that's what I'm going to be really focusing on as I just dived into it, dove, dived into it super, super hard and it's all I want to do. So stay tuned and I hope to see you again soon.